وسلم دائما ابدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم honorable respected scholars elders and beloved brothers allah has blessed us you and i know not this could be the last day of our life this could be the last friday in our life this could be our last ramadan nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam said if my ummah knew the value of ramadan they would wish the entire year be ramadan but you and i now because this could be our last the fact that we awakened in the morning is allah's favor there was no guarantee when we went to sleep we were going to awaken allah gave us another opportunity the friend of allah says waladatka ummuk baqiyan mustasikha nas hawlaka dahiqun sururan fa'mad ila amalin takunu idha bakaw fi yawm mawtika dahiqan masrura he says your mother gave birth to you addressing all of us he says dahiqan baqiyan mustasikha you were crying screaming your lungs out but everyone around you were elated were happy he said aspire to make allah happy in this world by fulfilling allah's huquq and also fulfilling the rights of our fellow human kind then the day when your death is announced everyone will be crying and you will go happily allah help us we have to capitalize on this opportunity allah has given us this, this month is passing rapidly so i want to tell you about one very great angel of allah who is that angel jibril alayhi salam allah mentions him in surah baqar the jews didn't like hazrat jibril alayhi salam so allah mentions him in surah baqara see how beautiful as the month of ramadan came in the first chapter we heard was al baqara 50% the tea of al baqara is the residents of medina munawwara who were residing in medina the jewish community why they were staying in medina munawwara because their forefathers studied in their scriptures muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the final nabi of allah will hail from the glorious city medina munawwara the city was described in their books that's why baqara states allayna atainahum alkitab ta'rifuhu kama ya'rifu abna'ahum those whom we've given the book to they recognize him the pronoun ya'rifunhu this is called dhamir i'm going to mention just now again so remember what is dhamir it refers to someone here it refers to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam normally dhamir refers to someone you mentioned previously in the discussion i saw zaid outside the masjid then he entered the masjid you don't have to say then i saw zaid enter the masjid again zaid is not mentioned again in the statement that's called a pronoun i saw zaid outside then i saw him inside you know the him there refers to him jibril refers to zaid here the mir the pronoun refers to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam they recognize my muhammad without doubt who the jewish community like they recognize their own children kama yarifuna banaahum now you think thousand children playing outside jame masjid your child you know what he wearing you know how he runs you know how he looks you know you can't mistake in him they knew our muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam why they didn't accept him many of them many of them did accept the reason being is racism that's why when nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam from day one eradicated racism that now one ummah we all are equal none is superior to the other the jews failed the test allah's be made an effort that his ummah mustn't fail that test so the jewish community is discussed in al baqara why so you and i have to learn what is the beliefs of the non muslims around us and how to work on them ali imran early medan chapter, chapter discusses the christian community because they came and rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam wrote a letter inviting them to islam back to our discussion the jews hate jibril allah says qul man kana aduwwan li jibril fa innahu nazzalahu ala qalbik bi'inillah musaddiqan lima bin yadayh those who have hostility against jibril o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam they should know jibril brought quran to die hot man kana aduwwan li jibril fa innahu well and allah ta'ala says that jibril mikail israfil are the angel of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fanna allah aduwul lil kafirin allah highlights jibril alayhi salam nazala bihi ruh al amin allah refers to jibril alayhi salam as the special angel ar ruh because he came with quran 
and Quran brings deen and deen is life. So Jibreel is referred to as the spirit. نَزَلَ بِهِ الرُّوحِ الْأَمِينَ عَلَىٰ قَلْبِكَ لِتَكُونَ مِنَ الْمُنْذِرِينَ Jibreel brought Quran to your heart. Allah speaks about Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم seeing Jibreel. وَالنَّجَمْ إِنَا هَوَىٰ مَا ضَلَّ صَاحِبُكُمْ وَغَوَىٰ وَمَا يَنْطِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ And then, وَلَقَدْ رَآهُ نَزْلَةً أُخْرَىٰ عِنْدَ سِدْرَةِ الْمُنْتَحَىٰ This refers to Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم seeing Jibreel عليه السلام in his actual form. Because Jibreel عليه السلام used to come to Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم in different forms. He came to Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم on many, many occasions. But let's rewind. What about the previous Anbiya? Jibreel alayhi salam came to Adam alayhi salam, Nuh alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salam, all the Anbiya alayhi salam. Who came to Ibrahim alayhi salam's house to give him the news about his son Ishaq? In the house of Ibrahim alayhi salam in Palestine, Khalil. It was Jibreel with two of the angels when Ibrahim alayhi salam brought the food and then he realized this is Jibreel. Who went to Lut alayhi salam? and destroyed and eradicated that entire community of Sodom and Gomorrah. Allah save us from the despicable way of LGBTQ. And Allah save our children. Jibreel raised them with the tip of his wing. They were raised to the sky and then they were crushed. But before that, Jibreel slapped them. And their faces were blinded. The nation of Lut alayhi salatu was salam. Who was this angel? This was Jibreel alayhi salatu salam. Which angel came? To Maryam. Radiyallahu anha, and we also say alayhi salam. She wasn't a nabi of Allah. She was the mother of Allah's nabi, Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. Who came to her? And she thought he's a strange. She thought he's a stranger. فتمثل لها بشرا سويا. Jibreel could come in different forms. And then she sees a stranger. And the natural reaction of a woman, a pure, sane, a pure, innocent woman's reaction when seeing a strange person. What he says, قَالَتْ إِنِي أَعُوذُ بِالرَّحْمَانِ مِنْ إِنْ كُنْتَ تَقِيَّةِ I seek Rahman's protection from you. If you have the consciousness of Allah, then get away. I am in seclusion. How can you as a stranger come to me? Who was that? That was Jibreel. قَالَ إِنَّمَا آ رَسُولُ رَبِّكَ I am the messenger of your Rabb who sends me because Allah gives you a child who is to be Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. Who came to her? Hazrat? Jibreel alayhi salatu wassalam. And interestingly, you can share this with your Christian friends. Tell them that Isa alayhi salatu wassalam. Because Jibreel was also at Isa alayhi salam. Jibreel came to all Rabbi alayhi salam. But he came to Muhammad alayhi salam much more. But there's an interesting verse I like you to remember and share with the world out there. Because Islam is for the whole world. Jibreel alayhi salam was with Isa alayhi salam also. He's referred to in the Bible as a spirit, the Holy Spirit. The angel of Allah ta'ala. So Isa alayhi salam said to his people. That there are many things that I want to share with you and say unto you, but you cannot bear them right now. But when he, the man of truth, is come, but some versions of the Bible say, the spirit of truth is come. He will share it with you. But if I go not, he cannot come. So Christians will quickly say, oh, no, this refers to the Holy Spirit, the angel. The response to that is, wasn't the Holy Spirit there with Isa alayhi salam? This verse clearly says, I go not, he cannot come. So it's not referring to someone who was there. It's referring to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Basically, my point of discussion here is, Jibreel came to all the malaik, all the anbiya alayhi wa sallam. Jibreel alayhi wa came to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa He came so often to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa And even every now and again, in Al-Qara also, Allah says, Oh Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa I see you stay at the sky waiting for Jibreel's arrival because Jibreel bring the message of Allah to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. قَلْ نَرَى تَقَلُّبَ وَجْهِكَ فِي سَمَاءَ فَلَنْ وَلِّيَنَّكَ قِبْلًا تَرْضَى Because in Dina Munawwara, Muslims had to face Bitul Maqdis. Allah was testing the Muslims. Their heart was to face Kaaba. But Allah's command was to face Baytul Maqdis. Like Jews were tested, they're going to obey Allah or their whims and fancies due to racism. They failed. Sahaba passed. Allah says, Baytul Maqdis, we face Baytul Maqdis. But Rasulullah was waiting for the command via Jibreel. So the Muslims passed the test that they didn't follow their emotion. Our heart has Kaaba, we're going to follow Kaaba. No! What Allah says we're going to do when Allah says Kaaba, we face Kaaba. Allah protect Al Masjid Al Aqsa and the Haramain Al Sharifain. Continue with our discussion. Jibreel alayhi salam. Allah says to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam. Jibreel alayhi salam brought the Quran to your heart. Allah refers to him as Nazala bi ruhul amin ala qalbik. He brought the Quran al to your heart. 
So throughout Nabi Sallallahu life, a period of 23 years, Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam came thousands of times to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And still Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked Jibreel alayhi salam, why don't you come and visit me even more than that? So the verses in Surah Maryam were revealed. وَمَا نَتَزَّلُ إِلَّا بِأَمْرِ رَبِّكَ لَهُ مَا بَيْنَ أَيْدِنَا وَمَا خَلْفَنَا وَمَا بَيْنَ ذَلِكَ وَمَا كَانَ رَبُّكَ نَسِيًا cannot descend unless your Allah commands us to do so. That Aisha رضي الله عنها says that Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم in Ramadan used to prepare for Jibreel عليه السلام because throughout the year Quran Sharif used to come but in Ramadan Nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم used to prepare used to dress for the arrival of Hazrat Jibreel how much he loved Hazrat Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasalam and Jibreel alayhi salam used to recite the quran e kareem together to each other that's why we have the sunnah practice of listening to entire quran e kareem that's how the quran e kareem was put into sequence the sequence that we have otherwise the first surah to reveal was chapter 96 that I'm going to mention to you now the second chapter to be revealed was Nut or Muzzamil. There's a difference of opinion. Then Muzzamil, then Mudassir, then Al-Fatiha. Al-Baqarah was in sequence of Revelation 87. Ali Imran 89. Anfal 88. The point of discussion here is how was it placed in the sequence? Allah sent Jibreel alayhi salam to show Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam. This is how Allah wants the sequence of the Quran Kareem because this is not a book of a human being. It is a book preserved, protected, divinely by Allah. Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikr wa inna lahu lahafidun. Now this is Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam. Every year in the month of Ramadan, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa used to wait for him. He said, Aisha says, Radiallahu anha, Allah's Nabi used to prepare and await the arrival of Jibreel. That's how he loved Hazrat Jibreel alayhi salatu wa salam. When the Quran Kareem speaks of Jibreel alayhi salam, he's also an angel. But if you say, all the brothers came and Buddha Abdul Rahman. He's also from the brothers, but there's something special about him that he is mentioned specifically. This is called Itnab. This is emphasis. So many times Allah says, the Malaika came, Jibreel is also Malaika. And Jibreel came. What is that telling us? Jibreel is very special. Now when Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam departed from this world, Saba was very sad. It was the saddest occasion. Hazrat Anas Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu says that it was so sad, it was my darkest happening ever in life. When Allah's Nabi came into Medina Mubarak, Everything was lated and brightened in Medina Manawara. Everything had bur. Everything was special. The entire ambiance and environs of Medina. Every aspect of Medina was special. When Allah's Abi departed from this world, everything felt different. It's special, special, special presence of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allahu Akbar. Hazrat Anas says it felt so different. Hazrat Abu Bakr and Umar said, Allah's Nabi used to visit the elderly. Let's do the same. Everything Rasulullah did, Sahaba used to do the same. There was a Jewish child sick in Medina. Which child? Yahudi child. Who went to visit him? You and me. Muslim is sick. MashaAllah, go and visit. Non Muslim is sick. Who Allah ke makhluk ye? Is he not Allah's creation also? Is he not makhluk? Is he not insan? Is he not from the Ummah of Muhammad? He didn't know. Ask him, who is Dawood, David, he knows. Who is Abraham, he knows, Ibrahim alayhi salam. Who is Moses, the Christian, the non-Muslim, the African, the local. Even Hindu knows. Who is David, he knows. Who is Adam, he knows. Who is Noah, he knows. Nuh, Ibrahim, Adam alayhi salam. Ask him who is Musa, Moses, he knows. Ask him who is Isa, Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, he knows. I give them a booklet. How many, how many a time they tell me, we know all of this. Ibrahim, Noah, Moses, Yaqub, Jacob. Who is this? They don't know Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, And he is the greatest of Allah's creation. You heard it in Taraweeh, Surah Anbiya. Every Nabi mentioned. Surah Araf, Anbiya mentioned. At the end of Surah Araf, قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسِ إِنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِلَيْكُمْ جَمِيعًا Surah Anbiya, Allah mentions Surah Maryam, Surah Ta, Surah Abiyah, 
different than Anbiya Ali Musalam. At the end of Surah Anbiya, Allah says, You, O Muhammad Sallallahu is different. You are different from every Nabi. Every Nabi was sent to his town, to his people, to his nation, to his locality. But you are sent to humanity, a totality. If I wanted, Allah says, I could have sent an Nabi to every town. But, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I want every town to know you. I want every town to know who is Ashhadu Ana Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What is the culminating verses of Surah Al Anbiya that we heard? Wama salnaka illa rahma lil alamin. From day one, Rasulullah came for the whole world. Surah Noon, in the early Matan revealed chapter. What does Allah say? From the beginning, in wa illa dhikrul lil alameen. This Quran Sharif is for the whole world. Ask the non Muslim neighbor. He'll say, Who is Muhammad? He thinks he's some prophet for some people, for some, from some country. He doesn't know. Muhammad came to liberate the world. I ask you, who was supposed to tell him? Who was supposed to educate him? Why is this Ummah made Khair Ummah? Ukhrijat Linnas For the whole world that we have to educate. In the month of Ramadan, people's hearts are soft. Even the non-Muslims' hearts are much softer than normal. The influence of shaitan is much lesser on them. Talk to them. Explain to them. You send samosa or whatever nice cuisine to the Muslim neighbor, Kajur. What about the non-Muslim neighbor? How will he also get to know? Islam is so beautiful. How will he also get to know that I can also come and sit and listen to the Quran, embrace Islam. Quran Kareem is also for me. To culminate this discussion, who is Jibreel? Such a great angel of Allah. Sahaba were saddened when Rasulullah Wasallam departed from this world. Why were they so sad? Because the greatest of Allah's creation has departed. Abu Bakr and Umar went to visit Hazrat Ummu Ayman. Allah bless you, my brother of Africa. You know Hazrat Ummu Ayman? She would have been almost 90, 100 now. When Abu Bakr and Umar went to visit her, she was very, very early. She came from Africa. She is that Sahabi. She is that Sahabi, Sahabiya, who spent more time with our beloved than any other human in history. When our beloved came into this world, she was there. When he went to stay, when he went to live with his mother, she was there. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When his mother passed on, she brought him back to his grandfather, Abdul Muttalib. She was there. When his grandfather passed away, he was eight. She was there. When he lived with his uncle, Abu Talib, she was there. He cared for her. He used to say, she is my mother after my mother. And then... When Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam departed from this world, Abu Bakr and Umar were to visit her because Jabi Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam always visited her because he loved her. He did for her. She was old. Even if she needed water, he would get up and serve her with water. She is crying. Abu Bakr and Umar radiallahu anhu start to cry. Hey, huma al buka. So they both say to her, Umar Iman, mother, take it easy. Do you know, ma'in Allah khairun li Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. What is by Allah is better for Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. She said, I know ma'in Allah khairun li Rasulullah, but I cry. An al wahya qadi qata. Jibril won't come now. Otherwise, Jibril used to come every day to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam with the Quran Kareem, with the Quran Sharif. But Allahu Akbar. So many ahadith mention. Explaining this ayah of the Quran. Look at Sahaba said that Jibreel wouldn't come. But Allah has blessed you and I with an opportunity. Allah says, Iqra, chapter 97. Read. Look how beautiful is Quran Kareem sequence. The sequence of the Quran Kareem is divine from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah told Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 97, Iqra. What must we read? The next chapter answers. Inna anzalna fi laylatil qadr. We revealed what is anzalnahu. Pronoun. We discussed it earlier. The Quran is already in our hearts. So we reveal the Quran. It's not mentioned again. Now something is very special. Normally, if you say I saw him and you didn't say who you saw earlier, no one will understand. There's a thousand people here. The Quran Sheikh is not mentioned earlier, but because it's in our heart, it doesn't need a reference earlier. So inna azalna, we revealed it, the Quran Kareem. Fi Laylatil Qadr. In the night of Qadr. What does Qadr mean? Qadr means power. Allah's grandeur is exhibited in this month. 
in the sight. Qadr also means Qudah. Allah's decree, taqdeer takes place. Second meaning. Number three, Qadr. Qadr means to be tight and constricted. Where there's no space. There's so many malika. Yafsutur rizqa. Limay sha'u. Yaqdir. Be tight. That there's no space in the entire universe except that it's filled with the malaika of Allah Ta'ala. Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil Qadr. What was sufficient in the next verse? Verse number two was to say, وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا هِي What would make you fathom and realize what it is? A pronoun was sufficient. But here, yeah, Qur'an Kareem, see, Qur'an Kareem never repeats something unnecessarily. When the Qur'an Kareem repeats something, it show importance. وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا هِي Zaid came, then Zaid, then he went, then he came again, was sufficient. You don't want to say, Zaid came, Zaid went, that in a contrary to eloquence, but in the Quran Kareem, Quran will only repeat something with purpose. In Anzal Nahu fi Laylatul Qadr, wa ma adraka ma Laylatul Qadr, Laylatul Qadr Khairum three times. Allah repeats the greatness of this month. Khairum min alfi shahr. One night to maximize better than a ibarat of a thousand months. Even if a person lives eighty-three years, four months, this is better. Who makes ibadah for eighty-three years? Con- four months consecutively this uh, receiving and making ibadat on this night is more than 83 years four months of ibadat even if a man lived hundred years his, his span of ibadat was maybe two or three years or four or five years do the calculation eight hours somebody is sleeping eight hours is working 50 up to 15 he was in balik how much time he's giving for ibadat yeah that one night it can be on any night. Abu Sa'id Khudri's hadith, it fell on the 21st of Ramadan. But the indications of this surah show it falls most of the time on 27th night. But all these nights have to be aspired for. Or especially, and even as well, because there's one calculation according to the Arab num- num- numeral is counting from the rear. So any one of these nights you have to aspire for, especially on the 27th. malaika. Malaika descend. Who else? Warruh. There's one time in the year. The same Jibreel is that Umm Ayman kite for. He comes down once a year and that is on Laylatul Qadr. He comes with millions of Malaika and they disperse into every home. Greeting and making Musafaha with every Muslim making Ibadah, making Qam, making Dhikr, making Tilawah, making Dua. Wa yu'ammiruna ala du'aihim. Jibreel and Malaika say Ameen to your Duas on that night. It's not a night to sleep. It's not a night to waste time. It's not a night to say, no, tomorrow I have to work. These are nights that every one of us have to exert ourselves in and aspire to, to acquire this not even jackpot, the word jackpot is small. This opportunity Allah has given us, which is a grand opportunity. And every person is forgiven, except Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Allah save us. Quickly, I'll mention them to you. The one who bakes family ties. We have to ask maaf and join ties with our siblings, with our relatives. And the one who harbors hatred, mushahin, harbors hatred in his heart. Ask Allah to clean our hearts. If we have anything towards anybody, make salam to him. Give him hadiyah. But cleanse the heart. The other person is mudminul khamar. Whole man, month of Ramadan is passing. And he's still taking drugs and toxicants. He will be forgiven. Ask Allah to help us leave those. Because Ramadan was supposed to help us change. The other is aqli one day. Defiance of parents. Allah save us. Our time has elapsed. Allah ta'ala gives tawfiq. Allah accept us for his deen. Allah give us tawfiq to acquire and receive Laylatul Qadr. This could be our last month year or opportunity and Allah give us to to share the message of Islam because this is the most oft repeated topic throughout the Quran Sharif that we heard we heard the Quran Sharif to share the message of Islam with the whole wide world this classroom on top on the right hand side is empty please come into that session for those who are entering the staircase come onto the